Okay, there we go. Welcome to episode six of the Not Presently Deceased uh, stuff. Godlike intro. How eloquent. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Godlike. Godlike. <laughs> okay, what happened last time, guys? Oh, I shit. I wrote this down. Hey. You wrote it down? Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Except the attorney. I can just forget like a normal human being. I wrote down this because my plan was epic last time. We killed the vigilante all thanks to Isil's master plan of pretending to be a thief. <laughs> there you oh, go. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got punted, didn't I? Yeah, oh, I yeah. punted you and then I almost died again. Just not die for one episode, please. <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> okay, that's, that's an after issue. The main thing. Is that my plan work? Death is an after issue. I succeeded. <laughs> Death is an after issue. Okay. So, yeah, you guys uh, beat the vigilante, but the town's pretty much in turmoil, right? Remember, most of the important people, and most of the leaders have either been killed. Yeah, pretty much killed, maimed, hurt. Um, buildings were on fire. Uh, it was a pretty bad time. I have a question. Yes. When someone dies, will, will we switch to presently deceased? <laughs> I mean, that's what you, happens when one of us dies. If you want. Okay. Uh, we're not there yet, so. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. We are almost there. <laughs> We've almost been there a few times. Today is the day. <laughs> Today is the day. Woo. Curse oh, is gonna get eaten. Oh. Okay, so. Um, so, right, things went pretty bad. Um, you guys had talked about going out and checking out Penny's Fort after this. Mm -hmm. Um, but, mm -hmm. just due to your involvement in catching the... One of the vigilantes, remember there were two of them that were around, um, looking the same. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. due to those events... Um, as you've been constantly brought back in to bring, uh, to either help keep the peace in the town or for ceremonies and such, right? So, this has only left you guys with two weeks of downtime. We kind of talked about what each of you guys did, so we're just going to go over that. But I don't want, I definitely want to emphasize on the fact that the town is in, com is in complete chaos right now. Um, over the last few weeks, there have been riots. Um, the ambassador... Remember the ambassador that you were looking after? Was it Cameron? Or was it Sebi? Someone was chasing an ambassador around. Yeah, I was kind of just stalking a guy, and then he got annoyed. I was also yeah. stalking a guy, and I found the... It was snakes, but he ran off into the forest. Oh, yeah, no, that was... that. Yeah. We so... both did it, but Seb failed. No, well, the one that Sebi... Yeah. <laughs> um, the one that Sebi... Mine was, was safe. I was not stealthy. <laughs> uh, Mine was safe, too. The one that Sebi was looking after, um, the ambassador, uh, he was actually found dead a few days later in the town. So that is, um, there has been some turmoil. Uh, yeah, most, yeah, there is a lot of, a lot of stuff is going on. Um, the watch is not doing great. A lot of their members are dead. Remember, there was a whole session where a bunch of them got killed off. Um, there is nobody really in charge of the town, so, of course, our good friend the Watch Captain has kind of stepped up and semi-enforced some kind of semi-martial law state for now until things can get figured out, because the current mayor is kind of, uh, he's kind of broken now. Um, he's not in a good condition to be able to semi-lead the town, and he's def- Right after uh, the vigilante was caught, he kind of declared, I'm done. I'm done with this job. I am resigning from now on. <laughs> right once we get this thing fixed up. So again, right, a lot of the town is pretty much burning. Eh, if it isn't burning, it's falling down. People are dying. People are fighting. Uh, a lot of the business isn't going well. Trade isn't coming in or out. Um, yeah. So... Um, what was everyone? Growl, you said that you wanted to you you offered your services to the to Lucian, our bar yes. the barkeeping friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So definitely Lucian completely accepts your offer. He's really happy <laughs> because although he has like he has some stuff behind the bar to protect himself, having a second hand 
um, watch the place was really helpful. So uh, a lot of the stuff is the town is also partially paying you guys to be around, to stick around, so you guys do get paid as well for doing a lot of this stuff. Um, but you you become known as uh, become well known as the guardian of that corner of the town. Yoink. Yeah. So you gain the title because like it's an it's only a local title, right? So everybody around there knows you kind of by this, but if you went elsewhere in the world you wouldn't have it. You've become known as um become known as Maple Guard. Nice. That's sort of that's your that is your um your nickname. I'm just because, making a good luck. Yes. Yeah, Cuz uh, from being the guardian of the Sweet Maple Inn and Tavern, and kind of the the few buildings around there too, you've kind of protected when in doubt. Because honestly, the the tavern hasn't been hit as often as you'd thought it would be. But there is a lot. There's, there are a few buildings around there that also kind of need a bit of protection. Um, so that is your that is what happened for you. Anything else that you want to mention? Nope. Nope. Nothing else that happened. Okay, Tasa. Uh, you said that you're going to help do your you've been put in charge of helping with the repairs of a lot of the town because you know how to fix stuff Yeehaw. Yeehaw, that's right <laughs> Yeehaw. Um, so you've you've been helping rebuild buildings fix items fix carts plows uh, generally keep everything kind of stitched together uh, with a group of some other uh, carpenters blacksmiths etc from around. Um, so through this, you hear a few rumors of what's going on. Um, you've heard that in the east, uh, the Iodian presence seems to be growing even greater. Uh, it's said that almost a few of the towns have kind of swore into being vassal states. Like, not the cities, but like the tiny little villages along the coast. Because they found it economically helpful. And there's talk about the alliance of all these sort of cities and towns in this region potentially starting to crumble apart, there's some instability. As well, uh, there's been talk about down around where the Goliaths live, the Goliath, um, there have been spot spottings of red dragons in the mountains, <gasps> uh, days of just dragon fire burning swaths of land. Uh, people don't know why this is occurring. They haven't really been looting or plundering, but just every new day, a different dragon supposedly comes down and just destroys a whole big chunk of land uh, in one region and then flies away. And then the next week, a different dragon shows up and destroys a completely different swath of land, even more than the first one, and so on and so forth. Oh, how nice of them. Um, so there's been talk of just yeah, dragons in the south, really bad time um, for both the Goliath people and, of course, all the colonizers that live down that whole little stretch, uh, heading to the larger lakes that are inland. Pretty much it's a bad time for everyone. Um, so that's what you kind of hear is going on through murmurs. Um, now we're going to come to Rock. So, Rock, you have a... You mainly actually uh, stick around with uh, Big Bell because the watch captain is busy trying to run the city. So you get to know Big Bell pretty well. He's a pretty chill dude. He brings you out for drinks every now and then. Uh, and everything's pretty good, but you hear, like, you've heard rumors among uh, the watch that there are, uh, there have been a lot of violence towards shifters. There's rumors in the around the town that the vid, both vigilantes were shifters, or the one that was a shifter was controlling uh, Edwin, who was the other vigilante and such. There's also a lot of mistrust among the um, watch because of all the because of the letters that you guys had brought forth before, as well as these current events, potential corruption. Uh, so the watch is kind of crumbling from the inside as well. There's a lot of insecurity um the watch commander is definitely 
uh, been leaning on you for a lot of support right now because he knows that he can kind of, he feels like he can trust you. So it's mainly been you and Big Bell and a handful of others who have actually been given important tasks. Anything else on that? Nope. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go... We're gonna go off to... Cormus! Cormus! You said that you're gonna help and try to make money. Um, <laughs> help out and get paid a bit. Because mm -hmm. I, I need to get paid. Yeah. So you do a hodgepodge of little jobs. You kind of don't really help out the city as much. You're helping out more little local groups. Um, getting paid a few coins. So you actually managed to scuffle together about, like, you know, 30 gold pieces over this whole period of time to sort of doing half-handed jobs for some people, uh, protecting uh, some small trade group that they come into town, um, protecting them while they leave, watching their stalls, doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, anything else you want to mention that you're doing? Nope. Nope? Okay. Uh, now we come down to... Izil. Yeah. Uh, what did you say that you were doing again? Because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, since the tower is, like, in a really bad shape, I'll just hop out around, um, uh, more people on more on the poor side. Mm -hmm. I can do some hunting for them to make sure they actually eat. Awesome, yeah. So you're going around, you become kind of well-known among the lower-class folk. They look up to you because a lot of the fields have been, during some of the uh, fighting, fields have been burnt. And especially since it's harvest time. It is, it is like, mid to late October now. So a lot of the food supplies are running short. They really, really look up to you for having gone out, grabbed resources during this time, just to sort of keep them up and floating. And finally we come to... Adram. Adran. Did I hit it eventually? Uh, can you say it again? <laughs> Ardan. Ardan. Is that good? Thank you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're just tired of it at this point. Ardan. Ardan. There we go. <coughs> just give me a moment. I'm just gonna slowly die in the corner. Owen's dying. Ah, man. Don't choke on that water. <laughs> it wasn't even water that I choked on. The water saved me. Right, okay. So, you, we said that you were going to be helping out with the church and charitable stuff, right? Yep. Yeah, so the church, um, they actually look up to you a lot, right? Because you are kind of an important, semi-important member. You've been there for a while. You're well-respected. Uh, and you've been actually asked on one of the days to make a little, do like a little speech sermon to kind of, you know, pep up the people, inspire people. What is, what is your sermon speech, etc.? Oh, do I actually have to say something? Yeah, oh, come on, <laughs> come on! Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... Some smut. Like... Uh... Shit sucks. It'll get better. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. You, you know what? As you as you say that, you get like a slight <laughs> vision in your mind, and you see um, this <laughs> giant bird flash behind in your mind. You just see this figure, and there's thunder behind it. A giant lightning bolt strikes the ground, and that's all that you see. And that's it. Right after you say that, that beautiful speech. <laughs> I get this massive like mirage behind me. Nice. No, no, no. It's not behind you. You just you 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 have the oh, moment where it. you okay. just you get this vision of just this eagle and a lightning bolt, and you hear this light whisper. Aldran. I, I didn't hear your whisper. It was. It's just your name. It's your name. Oh, okay? Okay, okay. I'm sorry <laughs> if it didn't. Work out. Your it's your name was pronounced. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, it's pronounced <laughs> Even properly. Even the gods cannot pronounce your name no, right. No, the gods can't. They just, they gave up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I've, I, by the way, I've expanded the, how the divinity stuff works. So if you're ever curious, let me know and I'll, I can inform you about how religion works. I've built this beautiful model. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to have done, do, etc.? 
I mean, I did pre stuff. What yeah. else do I have to do? I don't know. Up to you. Oh, no, I don't think I got anything. Okay, great. Then that's your. You're actually, it's almost more like three weeks of you guys doing this to just sort of solidify the town. Uh, you guys kind of make a bit of a name for yourselves over time. All right, nice. Um, just as important figures. And by the end of this, excuse me, um, things are semi in order. Um, the f battle, the riots and stuff has pretty much stopped. The town is on semi shaky footing. Uh, the watch commander is still in charge of the town until uh, he's able to organize uh, some kind of election. But people look up to him now, kind of as in, like, he is he is keeping everything together. <laughs> and he is trying really hard. Um, Growl, you actually have, like, one meeting with him one day. And he just, he looks at you and he's like, I don't know if I can do this much longer. This is just eating me from the inside. I don't know. But we gotta keep this town together. I'd like to thank all of you for what you guys have done. Of course, uh, by the end of this three weeks, your work here is pretty much done. Now that the town's kind of together, you guys are definitely free to go. Um, for your help, there is a nice ceremony set up. The, does that ceremony involve money? What is the one from Star Wars where everyone got a medal? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. You just got a medal at the. You walk yeah. down the aisle, it's like, good job, first place, and then that's it. <laughs> Everybody We're else just gets. Instruments. Yeah, everyone else gets like a participation medal. <laughs> uh, that's the end of it. Uh, you guys all worked really hard, but these guys worked the hardest. Yay! That was it. Um, so. It is. So there's a. It, this is a big event, right? Um, people are brought in. Um, the town's sort of semi-cleaned up, just as sort of just as a uh, celebration of the fact that the dark times are pretty much over now, um, or at least they think it's all over, right? Things are gonna get better. Everyone's really happy. Or so it seems. For now. Mm hmm Yeah, for now. Um, all right, but everyone's pretty doing pretty well. Uh, Ander, the watch captain, brings you guys up on stage, and he says, People of the city, these folks, as much as I sometimes dislike them, have worked very hard to keep us together. They've been a great hand. And so for this, uh, the city of Maniki would like to reward them for their efforts. For this, we will give the following. There are four, uh, four cormas. For well, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't practice this. So, for each of <laughs> for each of them, we have salvaged what we can and have gained some items that might be of use and might and will give them as gifts to them for their effort. And he has them all lined up and he's like, for you, Cormus. And he comes up to you, Cormus. And he holds out this dull glass sphere and thing. This globe, when given a command, will float and glow, allowing you to <gasps> see in the dark. What's the command word? Yeet. <laughs> Clap on. Clap off. And you see as he does this, it, it lights up, and then it turns back, and it goes back off. Um, wax on, wax off. Take it, I, t I take it in my hand and say, how am I supposed to do this without dropping it? <laughs> Throw it. Throw it. Throw it, it up in the air. It will Talk float up. when you th <laughs> it will It will float when you throw it, and it will orbit, if need be. Excellent. Very well. Now, Isil. Yes. For your work in the wilderness, we thought this was the most appropriate. He pulls out a set of green boots. These boots were made by elves many years ago, and have been brought here and kept here by some of the merchants to be traded. However, you might find them of more use. 
These boots oh. should be able to help you be even more stealthier and make your hunting ability greater, my friend. It's just a pair of rubber boots. <laughs> It's just rain boots. <laughs> well, Thank no, you. So they're, they're these fancy green boots, pretty much. They're like... The green rain boots. No, <laughs> all, you know, they're just green galoshes. It's just fucking just frog boots, that's it. Yes. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Tassa? Yeah? For you... You will have this figure. He holds out a silver... Sculpture of a raven. This Whack. is a magical item which will form a raven for 12 hours. If you ever need the aid of this thing <laughs> or from something else, oh god, those boots are terrifying. <laughs> 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 On the Discord, Noah just put. Okay, actually, I'm gonna change to the chat <laughs> just to show this. My god. <laughs> Gods, that's beautiful. Mm. Um, <laughs> this is yours, and he hands you the little silver raven uh, figurine. Sick, what do we want? You can create. You can. F it, it will turn into a raven every two days if need. If you want it, you can use oh, nice. it to summon a raven, and then it have twelve hours of a raven of being around. You can use it Sick. for stuff. Okay. I thought you might find it cool. <laughs> Oh, hold on, this I... is out of character, but like, so it summons a raven. So if you eat the raven and it disappears in 12 hours, does that just make you hungry again? <laughs> well, it turns into a raven, so technically you ate the structure, so. Oh, uh, so dead. does that mean that you could. Okay, never mind. I mean, we can explore this when you guys want to <laughs> try it out. Does that mean you could trick someone into eating it? the sculpture and, and then, then activate it and then have the raven kill them from the inside out yeah but who's gonna eat that a ogre. Raven? Mm -hmm. by Fair the way guys i'm not actually telling you what the items are if you want you can always cast identify or get someone to actually look at them and identify them but oh you gotta find the right people right i'm telling you kind of what the what they think the item is or what they think it does or what they kind of know it does from having it right Hey, look what I found. I think you'd like this. I don't know what it is. Here you go. Oh, no. It's like, it's like this is the thing that will turn into a raven. Uh, I mean, Tessa's got a cool bird. I got a pair of green Yeezys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you got to tell me when you put those on, Seppi. Um, because oh, they actually do stuff. Um, <laughs> the next one is... A, Aldran. Aldran. What's up? Did I say your name right, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> the most important. <laughs> I can never remember who's yes. who, actually, like, for who responds, and it's like, okay, that's that, that's I that, okay. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to say no. the name. I know who everyone is. Yeah. You think I, I don't even remember which character I am, like, half the time. Nice. Wait. <laughs> if no one responds, just like, Your is that... Girl. Yeah. <laughs> for you... This has been brought by the shrine, the Church of Shrines, oh. the Temple of Shrines. Walkers. Yes. They recommended this for you. And it's a take it, and it shall keep you healthy and safe. And it is just this necklace with a ruby heart on it as the pendant. Cool. Cool. Dumb. Yeah. So, by the way, guys, with your magical items, if you ever put them on for the first time, let me know. <laughs> um. <laughs> Because there's gonna be something if you ever win the first time you actually use these items, uh, will be kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna kind of have to tell you about it, like. Yeah, I know. Uh, but for those who actually have like items that they put on, like like the necklace, for example, the boots, you know, um, you're gonna feel something because they are magical for the first time you put them on. Next. Like drugs or. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We'll see. we'll see. You put on the you put on the necklace. You get an immediate lethal dose of LSD and die. <laughs> Rock for you. Take this ring that we have found. And it's this little ring that is just it is silver with a red strip all the way around it. May it keep you warm. For you are, might require that. 
during these winters. Uh-oh. Isn't he like a dragonborn though? Don't worry about that fact. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, right. Okay. What type of dragonborn are you? Cameron. 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 <laughs> 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 I'm not even muted. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm being trolled. Okay, what type of dragonborn are you? <laughs> I am a last. I am a bronze dragon. Cool. Yeah. So like, you don't spew fire. You spew. I um, spew lightning. Yeah, lightning. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you got a you got a ring. That is. Too resistant. I mean, you can put the <laughs> ring on, and he said it's like he said it's to keep you warm. You can put the ring on, and I put the ring on. Try. You, you put the ring on. See, so as you put the ring on, and you slip it on your finger, you feel uh, suddenly a wave of sort of like warmth, like just a general. Holy warmth shit! Around. It's drugs. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, god. So, so, um, this is just so you know, because honestly, it'll be easier for you if you want to look it up. You now have a ring of warmth. Congratulations. How useful. <laughs> a ring of warmth. While wearing I will this... never be cold. Shut up. No, yeah, you're resistant to cold damage. Yeah. Also, in addition, you and everything you wear are unharmed by temperatures lower than negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can hit me with ice and sorry, I take sorry, damage. As, as temperatures as low as negative 50. Once it gets below negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you start to get... It starts to damage you. What is Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit? I'm, really currently, cool. I'm currently doing a temperature converter in order to yeah, convert that's like... so 50 minus 50 to Celsius. I'm Give me a second. Close For... to minus 50 degrees. Minus 50 Celsius. degrees Fahrenheit. Please convert that. That is negative 45 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Y'all are going to say you basically it's like really cold winter. Basically, right? you can go out in Nunavut in like no clothes and be perfectly fine. Yeah, right. oh my you, God. you know it's been minus 45 here before, right? It has. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, Jacob, none of that's funnier to say. Okay. Yeah, that is just like, wow. Uh, I love being Canadian and the fact that like D and D uses um, Imperial. Like. Damn you, Wizards of the Coast! <laughs> yeah, well, well, TSR was originally from, like, you know, Minnesota, I think it was. Um, yeah. Good old Gary Gygax. Damn you, Americans. <laughs> Funny ring, though. <laughs> I like the ring. Yeah, and finally he comes, growl. Oh, yeah? For you. And he holds out this pair of just, like, they're, they are leather boots with just a bunch of fur in them. It's like, these will also keep you warm. <laughs> he hands them to you. <laughs> some boots from the dumpster. I'm absolutely not complaining. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so that is um. Fair and balanced, by the way. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> there we go. And he's like, as well, you all get, you've all been given. Only 20 gold from the coffers because we don't have the money <laughs> to pay money! you guys anymore. <laughs> but we wanted to give you some kind of reward. Hey. Kind of can't hey, afford gold. anything more. <laughs> Thank gold you very much. You are also, I hereby declare you, uh, with as much power as I can as the watch commander and semi-leader of the town, heroes of Maniki, you're welcome here whenever. And, yeah. Uh, Everybody cheer! And he says, oh, and, it's like everyone, and the guard yeah. guys are like, yeah! And everyone else is like, your friends, your friends in the crowd are like, yay! Yay! Go guys! The, friends? Yeah, the, the, you know what, Jacob, uh, Aldrin's priest buddies are clapping very stoutly. Um, very nice. Yeah, the guard, the guards are, your the guard guys, um, that rock and growl kind of got to know. Um, and your one friend who didn't die, who was on the guards, are all, they're all <laughs> cheering. Um, the, the barkeep, uh, Lucian and his daughter, uh, as well as the little boy, um, who, oh, the, bead boy. Yeah. the little bead boy comes up to Audrin after this and he walks up to him and says, sir, I made this Money. for you. And he hands you this. I'll make 20 gold pieces. He hands, no, well, he, he hands you this, <laughs> he hands you this bead in the colors of the, of the town. 
Um, oh, very nice. And he just hands it to you and he says, For your time here and your ascendance. Tip him, you heartless man. I, I <laughs> will, like, Christ. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's just like, you know what? Like, right as you hand him that, he just like, he just instinctively just, he gives you a bear hug around your legs. And he just like, nice. he just like, luck. Hugs you so hard, and he's like, "Thank you." Very I nice. did. I like you are my. Kid. He's going to die. You're my favorite. Kill like, this kid. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna, gonna give him a silver piece as well. And he's, he's just like, he holds it in his hand, and he's like, "If you ever need anything, let me know." And he just like, he he, oh. he keeps going. He's I like, like he smiles and fades back into the crowd. Someone's gonna kill off this character. I love this yeah, character. Why would I kill off the child? Not, I love this child. He, he is my prey. Uh, like, <laughs> this is my favorite character. I love this child. <laughs> <laughs> like, this random character that just showed up because Jacob wanted to find beads, he's like, now my favorite character, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to have a favorite character, too. I like him more than the rest of you guys. You guys still there? Uh, oh, he's back! Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What did I say last time that you heard me? I don't know. You said you love him. We love the little kid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no. I'm allowed to have a favorite character. I said, and then I asked about the grave digger in. Oh, you know what? I love Pete too. Pete is great. Yeah, Pete. 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 Yeah, you know what? Pete, yeah, Pete should be the new mayor. Pete you know is what? The Pete, final Pete, Pete is, is already the putting. Pete is already putting up posters saying like Pete for mayor. Um, oh, Pete got my vote. Yeah. Pete's yeah. Pete's got my vote. <laughs> I'll get. I'll help him in the poor areas. He yeah, you know what? You got. Poor one dead. Yeah, you know what? Pete. Pete is. Pete is like the folk hero of the poor areas, along with you. Pete is just known for being Pete. He's not known for anything heroic, but people just love him. Pete is Pete. Yeah. Um, Pete will make sure that everybody gets buried properly. Yeah, that's his job. Everybody appreciates what Pete does. Every town has someone like Pete. <laughs> oh my god, we go to a new town and there's gonna be like, like Pete's sister or something. Pete. Um, Patricia. Pete, Pete, Pete. <laughs> Petra. 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 <gasps> Petra. Petra. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the end of your. Um, you you guys have been rewarded, and so you guys are now free to technically do whatever the <laughs> whatever you guys want. Um, and oh yeah, by the way, now that things have happened, uh, we have Ray is watching. Hi. Hello. You can unmute She's if looking. you want. No. Okay. Oh. Wait. Hello. Hey. Sorry, I have like three different buttons I have to press to unmute my mic. <laughs> How no did you even get here? Like I checked like five minutes ago and you were just <laughs> appeared. <laughs> were you here the entire time? No, I came about uh, probably like twenty minutes ago. I was having lunch. Oh, funky. Nice. Yeah. It's it's almost three in the afternoon. And you're saying you had lunch? I just had lunch. Like, I woke up like three hours over. ago. Leave me alone. <laughs> I woke up at like Yay. 11, it was really weird. I woke up at 11 and then I went back to sleep and then I woke up at like 1.50. Oh yeah, D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that I met? Didn't I message you? I'm like, yeah, what, like, what did oh. I say? I was like, oh. Yeah, I called you a hoe and then you woke up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, so this is Ray. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Uh, For anybody who Owen. had... Hmm? I also put on my funny boots. Oh yeah, you put on your funny boots! Yay! I put on the funny heat boots, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 just, just give me a moment. For anybody, do you guys all want to like put on your different things? Or try I'm gonna go find out what my boots do. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. What? actually doesn't know what his thing does, doesn't he? Um... I mean, you got boots as well, so just, just, just give me a moment, okay? For Let me boots. find all my things. Um, I, mean, I think just, I already found it just by googling it. But anyways. Yeah, I mean, right? Okay. Boots uh, I've got my work. book here. Let me just do my book. Um, yeah. Anyways, but oh, we're we this, classy. We're going through the books. Yeah. No. Before <laughs> before we get here, uh, Ray is our friend. First of all, of course. <laughs> Yay. Yay. 
Uh, I have friends. friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll probably get you to do something in one of the games. I don't know what yet. Uh, she controls the BBG. Yeah, obviously. You know what? I like that plan. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's during. We, we did a campaign a while back, so that it's in the same world as this one. So she's currently doing some artwork for us for that. Um, yeah. Uh, I if, have. I tentatively have commissions open. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I. I mean, I don't know how many followers we've got, but like, <laughs> for anybody 17. who. Do you I want to just... 17, right? I yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, commissions are open in that I'm not advertising them, but if someone wants me to draw something, I will draw something for them. I'll get back to you on that. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we might. I. I. Yeah. I'm not sure what I. Uh, I was like, we should probably introduce the person who's just standing around and watching us. Needed. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is. Ray drew my character. Yeah. On the wiki, if you mm -hmm. want to check that out. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think my uh, my Instagram handle is there. So if you guys want to follow me and message me about commissions, it's on. It's wherever Tass's picture is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? We'll put a link in the video too. I think I'll put the the Instagram one. Cool uh, beans. Yeah. No problem. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to mention around that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get back to the game. So thanks for coming in and watching and all that stuff. I um, continue to vibe. Continue to vibe? Okay. I'll probably come up with some sort of thing that you can do next game. Uh, <laughs> anyways, back to the boots. I found boots of elven kind. Congratulations. <laughs> that's it, that's it, right? Actually, yeah, that is what it is. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it anyway. So first of all, uh... <laughs> Growl puts on his, his fluffy boots, right? Yes, um, boots of the winter ones. So they, first of all, they, you notice they feel very snug, very warm. And yeah. They... So yeah, they just feel very snug, very warm. Uh, you, while wearing these boots, you have resistance to cold damage. You mm -hmm. ignore difficult terrain created by ice or snow, and you can tolerate temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit without any additional protection. If you wear heavy clothes, you can also tolerate temperatures as low as negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Interesting. I just is this, better this, is than like, the ring? this is just better than the yeah. ring. <laughs> it's the ring that does the exact same thing as the ring, but if I'm wearing heavy shit, uh, I can go even colder. Want to trade? That, yeah, you no. gotta note that you yeah, need to have a. Um, you need to have attunement to your thing. Um, actually, both of you need attunement to your magical item. So, like, you keep know any magic item you need attunement. Uh, not Focus all the attunement. Need, not all, so like you need to have you need to sort of sit down and focus to get it attached to you, and then you can only have thir a certain number of magic items attuned to yourself. Um, yeah. Just for that. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. Fact. Same. Um, just so you're aware, some usually they're like equipment items are the ones that require attunement. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So. Easily, you put on your boots, right? Yeah. Yeah. You put on your boots. You feel sneaky. Uh, <laughs> I got the sneaky sneak. Right, because the sneaky sneakers. Um, when you wear them, uh, you you your steps make like you you put them on. You you bring your feet up and down, up and down to kind of test them out. You notice your feet don't make any sounds when they hit the ground. Oh sweet! So I can quietly punt Tassa. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pantasa, pantasa. <laughs> so you find your steps make no noise while wearing these boots. Noise. Yeah. As well, uh, you have advantage on stealth checks that rely on moving silently. Isn't that just most stealth checks? Yeah, I'm most stealth checks. But, like, not all of them, right? If it doesn't require you to be moving. Like, if you're hiding and you're not moving, then it won't help. So would it be better if I'm trying to hide and I move? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it depends on the situation. <laughs> I'm just doing that, like, Russian squat dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, Aldrin, do you want to put your your pendant on? Sure. Sure? Sneak. Okay, let me, let me find your thingy in the book. I should have bookmarked all these, but I didn't. Uh, but I know it starts with a P, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, pendant. It's not actually put down as pendant in the book, but... 
Because they gave it the fancy name for a pendant. <coughs> you have the paraft of... It's, it's the paraft of health. So, fun fact, Jacob. How do I spell that? Periapt? Uh, periapt. Yeah. P-E-R-I-A-P-T. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. What does that do? Uh, so, you are immune to contracting any disease while you wear this. Take this. Um, also... Damn, that's just my mask. Dude, I'm like vampirism and shit. Hmm? Does that include like vampirism and shit? Uh, like I don't know stuff? if vampirism is technically a disease, but yeah, you, you know, no, like no, it isn't. I think it falls under a curse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a curse, but you know, you can't get sick, which isn't bad. Dude, you can't catch a cold during the cold times. Also, um, if anybody, if you ever get sick, for example, you take this off. Um, if you get infected or someone else gets infected. If you put this on, the effects of the disease are suppressed while you wear the pendant. So you technically are still sick, but you don't have the effects of being sick. So you could just like, so you're like a carrier and you just go around infecting people? Uh, well the effects are, the effects of the disease are down, so I mean, I don't know if it would still allow you to be contagious. It's almost like you wear it and you technically still have the illness until you fight it, but none of its effects of being an illness affect you, which might also include it spreading. Um, I don't know. That would be an interesting question. Dude. Super, like, infectious virus that instantly kills people. Put on the pendant, go into the middle of town, take the pendant off. Uh -oh. Um... <laughs> The gang commits biological warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Cormus, <laughs> um, you've got a drift mm -hmm. globe. Congratulations. You know what that does. Um, uh, yeah, I pulled up the thing for it. You clap on, it lights up. You clap off, it turns off. Double clap on and daylight spell activates. Yeah. Clap on. Dude. Clap off. It still just looks up at it. I was like, is that a good son? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't think it is. All right. It'd be pretty cool if it was, though. Eh. My experience of sons is dumb. Cormus claps off and the drift globe falls into his hand. Yeah. What Son. do you have against sons? Ah, uh, it's personal. We'll talk about it later. All right, then. Anyways, before we uh, got involved with like the, every big mess that happened over the past few weeks, did we want to check out that uh, ruins? Penny's Fort, yeah. Ruin. Ruin, ruins. Come on. For some reason, whenever I hear Penny's Fort, I think like Penny's Fudge Factory. Like, <laughs> Wait, that's my first thought. That's whenever like I hear literally it. not the association I think you were intended to be. <laughs> no, it's not. But it is like that's just like. Wait, hold on. Oh god. Goes yeah, I've, already the bar I've already forgotten the barkeeper's name. Oh, Lucian. Luci Write Lucian. it down on your character sheet, Ian. <laughs> no. Put it as an ally. I have a big old whiteboard. I'm just writing a bunch of stuff on it. Nice. Nice. Lucian, he had a... Uh, Ooh, yeah, I need to write down... Where is it? Boots of Warmth. But Lucian had a... Uh, he said he had something that would help us get it. That would help us in the ruins. So I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay. So you you you, you go walk over to him because I'm assuming you're still sort of at the celebrations, the mini celebration event. He's like, oh, "What's up, Mike? What brings you out here, Thomas?" All this happened. You said something about having an item that would help. We were investigating Penny Force. Right, 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 uh, yeah. I got this, um, we pulled out this, uh, this stone with a circle in the middle of it with three lines coming off it. It's like, I got this stone, right? And, um, I'm thinking it might be important for Penny's Fort. I was told it would be important for Penny's Fort. So I grabbed it, anyways, and I thought I would offer it to you guys. I just need, like, if you go looking, uh, grab me, like, 20, 30 gold while you're on the way just to sort of, like, you know, my contribution of giving you a stone kind of thing. 
Not looking for anything fun. I give you a rock, give me 20 gold. Well, right, I'm just saying if the rock's worth anything. If it doesn't give you anything while you're on the trip, then don't make it worthwhile. But, you know, I got a business to run. I mean, it's an investment that I'm just made here, grabbing this thing. Fair enough. Yep. If you want it, we gotta just we'll make a deal. I'm sure you're all reasonable folks. Mm -hmm. Right, um, so that's what I've been planning on. Um, all right, we'll be on our, we'll end up, we'll get on our way. To, all right, let's go turn profit. Penny's fort. Soon enough, we'll. I. Uh, right. Okay. Well, look, I'll give it to you right now. So he hands you this stone. I like to point out that it's it's a circle with sort of like the sim the image is almost like this with three different lines off the top of it. So it's a circle oh, with fine. three lines coming off the top. Um, or you could turn it around and it would be a circle with three lines coming off the bottom. Um, depending on how you look at it, right? And if we turn it, it could be three lines coming out from the left or from the right. Yes, that yeah. is also true. All right. Damn, this is one fancy rock. It is a fancy rock. Uh, by the way, the, the markings in it are, besides being indented, are kind of this weird green color. They're green, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Here we go. Uh, you guys wanna... What do you guys wanna do now? You've got the rock. We need to go... Let's go to Penny's Fort. Oh no, we have to go canoe again. Yeah, you gotta kinda consider yeah. how far Fuck. it is. Um, yeah, I'm trying to need... pull up the scale on my maps. I can't... Yeah, we need, we need supplies for uh, however long. Uh, yeah. Every hex is two miles. So that is, let's see, downriver, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine miles, nine hexes, that's 18 miles. Um, travel time. Again, you're going upriver. Um, there are rapids. So wait. Is any fort on this map? Because I have the local map. Okay, so if right you look, now. if you look at the local map and you see Almond, right? Yeah. And then you go upriver from that, and there's a little uh, square with a dot in it, kind of hugged in by the river. Uh, it was, on the map it's to the left of Almond. Right? Yeah, left of Almond. You go okay. yeah, upriver. Yeah, and the I little square it. with a circle. Okay. Uh, I should have put a mark on that. Also, if you go to the regional map, um, you can zoom in as well on the regional map and see where it is. But, um, again, it's a much larger scale. Yeah, I see it. It's not as accurate. Um, mm -hmm. Right? So if you're traveling... Um, oh, dear. I need to find the canoeing speeds. Speed of boat. Speed of boat. Uh, it's going to probably be very similar to where your speed last time, but... Um, it's two miles, I mean, per, two miles per hour, so it would take you about nine hours to get there. Nine, ten, okay. ten hours, ten hours. I would say ten hours, just because you're going up rapids. And you have to stop. Oh, well, there's going to be sections of the rapids, not, not the whole way. Uh, you are right, going so past... You are going past Almond, so you could always stop at Almond and break there. Almond? Almond. Yeah, if you look at the map, there's a little village called Almond. Dude. Almond. I want some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, how do you guys want to do this? I mean, you guys, I'm assuming you guys just sort of, you pack up your supplies. You're all semi-prepped and ready to go. I mean, as I say, I vote we just... Like, send it all the way up to Penny's uh, fort. Just fucking book it straight for Penny's? Yep. Yeah. Alright, sure, I'm down. Alright, that's the majority. Send it. Okay. So, you guys are in your boat. You know, in your canoe. You get up. You get off, actually, um, in the logging district because you're avoiding the very steep rapids where the um, <laughs> near the windmills. And you get in your canoe, you guys start heading down river. Pretty uneventful time right now. Uh, you're reaching around where Almond is, and you can see on the side this town that is just 
Uh, it's a collection of a few, a handful of houses, a little wooden watchtower sticks up. All the houses are kind of clumped together. And then there's just a lot of fields around. There's a few little houses dotted elsewhere. Um, Almon, as anybody from the area knows, is well known for its honey production. Uh, which actually it is famous for. You sort of just head by the coastal area, which is near where the watchtower is. Um, get off there, because there are some rapids. Get off, take your boat on, switch, and then continue upriver. And as you do, you suddenly feel a shaking around your boat about uh -oh. a um, mile out from Almond. Uh, anybody want to make a perception check? I got a perception check. I'll make one as well. Fuck. Okay, three. I'm three. That's not. I got a thirteen. Yeah, I know. So it's just your your boat's been rocked, and it's very weird. You look down into the water, but all that you just see is turbulence. You don't see anything there. Then up ahead, it almost boat. appears like a capsized boat just sort of pops up, like a capsized canoe pops up out of the water. Hey guys, free boat. That's not normal. I feel like we shouldn't take that. Free boat. Or at least it looks it looks like a cat size boat. Right? It's too far away. Free boat, let's go. I vote, I vote not touching it. No touching. I, I vote don't investigate. I don't think we should touch it either. No touching. Start to move uh, upriver. The boat Staying starts to chase you. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's a... Well, you see the boat it's sticks back shit. down into the water. And it comes what? up. Oh, funky. All right, let's this, get out of here. What this boat yeah, like that, thing? Yeah, that looks haunted. Let's just leave it alone. As you guys keep moving up, uh, further up the river, closer to where the boat used to be, because you have to move up river after all. You see it pop up again, but you notice it isn't actually a boat. It looks almost like part of a body of some sort of serpent. Cool. Deep let's. Figure. Oh. <laughs> let's fight it. Up. Yeah. Let's get off Down. the water and let's I'm, not, I'm the only one that wants to fight the snake. <laughs> Free serpent. So I just I imagine you guys are in the boat and there's like this moment of just you guys all see it. You sort of stop. You look at each other like oh shit. <laughs> and then and then and then you, you see Rock just suddenly pulls out a sword and starts to move towards it, and everybody else grabs him and pulls him back into the boat <laughs> as, the, as the other two start changing the direction and starting paddling viciously towards the shore. Starts uh, poking at the water. Poking at the water, yes. He starts taking the sword and he starts just jabbing it in and out of the water, hoping to hit something. Uh, correction, it's a spear. Oh yeah, that makes it even better. Spear. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Dude, I want to go spear fish. fishing for snakes. No. <laughs> <laughs> On the, so you don't seem to catch anything except for uh, two salmon that you managed to stab. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dinner. Uh, so you get you you've managed to catch dinner if you guys reach the shoreline. <laughs> if we reach the shoreline. You've managed to reach the shoreline. I'm assuming you guys are sort of staying near the coast, near the the coast, or like you're not going too deep into the river. I say let's go deep into the river. Come on. I say, what's no. I say we fight the snake. No, Can we don't. Let's get to Penny's Fort. <laughs> let's walk to Penny's Fort. Is <laughs> Penny's Fort alive? Perhaps? Yeah. Let's get to Penny's How Fort come before the end of it. Six people can take on a snake. <laughs> <laughs> no touchy. I mean... Famous last words. Can they be dabbing water randomly? Okay, so Dude. What, do you, what do you guys want to do now? Alright, fine. Fit. Let's just go up to Penny's uh, fort. Penny's okay, so fort. I'm just double checking, right? You guys wanted to. Dr you guys just came in on the shore, right? Or did mm -hmm. you. Like, because you guys freaked out about the snake getting really close We're to the you. shore. Did you guys just. You're, did you just sort of stay on the shore, or are you just sort of. Like, following the shoreline? Who died? Oh, Anyways, guys, I've been in the area a lot. I haven't seen any, like, big snake type things in the water i'm pretty sure uh, it was just like a moving boat or whatever uh is it just me or is owen on buffering i'm so not, buffering i'm no, he's not, here well Getting i'm not buffering. okay for me it's just gone never mind keep continue <laughs> okay keep going i'm gonna turn the light on in my room uh, so wait what are you guys kind of doing right what are you doing is my big question 
I say it's fine, just keep on going by the river. I'm just gonna follow the edge of the river. Okay. Sure. I've been in the area a lot. I swear, that's probably just a boat. Okay. What Some kind of weird boat looking boat. boat. Under the water and then back up. I don't know. <laughs> Nessie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nessie. Yeah, so as you guys continue along, um, a while later, about 500 meters, I'd say, up, um, half a kilometer up, you see the shattered remains of a canoe just sort of broken in half, floating down the middle of the river. All right. Part. Gavin. Stay, let's stay close to shore. I think this is a sign that there's something in the water. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Special. I think we stay far away from the water. You're mm. currently in the water. <laughs> in a canoe. Um, <laughs> I, 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 we, we, should stay close to, we should stay close to shore. Because... Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, who doesn't know how to swim here? We should get out of the boat. It's not a matter of if... It's not a matter of if we know how to swim. It's a matter of can we swim with all our gear? I mean, I can. Well, the question is, are you wearing armor right now? Yes. Yeah, but yeah. For, but for the, the, for the half of the... For the half of the part of it isn't a fucking, like, either, like, a hunter or just mm -hmm. Bramble, then yeah, we are. I'm just gonna quickly check... Um, Alright, fine, let's just stick by the shore and just keep going. Yep, yeah, this is going great. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are just coasting along the shoreline. Alright, send it! Uh, you don't come across any other... Oh, he's not... Oh, wait, effects. hold on. I can hear him from the other room, but I can't hear him. On yeah, his. oh, and your mic fucked up. I can't actually hear you. He's back! He's I back. return! Oh, I was just, can you yeah, hear so me? it's just like I was watching your thing, I could see you talking, I'm like, wait a minute. Ah, this is the good thing about having a camera. Oh, Excellent no. miming. <laughs> How'd you learn your technique? Oh my god. He's big like... <laughs> Oh, he's stuck in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Get Tom, out. break into his house and help him out. <laughs> I can't hear him. Oh, there he is. Just immediately breaks through the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, so your your journey is uh, pretty uneventful for the rest of this time, right? You just keep moseying up the shoreline. Um, Once you get... Like, do you guys want to get back into the deeper part of the river away from the shoreline once you get like pretty far away from where you were or you no. just want to just, nope. just, just no. nope 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 yes yes yes, yes. Nope. there's no I'm, I'm, I'm always, always no Cameron no Cameron we're vetoing you Cameron yeah this is group veto okay I want you to fight committing suicide okay it's not suicide if I make it out alive <laughs> <laughs> So as you're as you're getting uh, as you keep going, however, it's starting to get really late. It's getting dark. <coughs> I know you you know that you've got still a bit further to go on your journey, but it is getting really dark right now on the river. It might not be safe to be outside at this time on the water. We continue on the water. <laughs> we continue you just want to continue water. on the water. <laughs> yes. Can more I mean, people go with me for that? I'm with Rock on this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can we get a third? We can probably, we can, we can probably make it to Penny Support. Uh. Well, yeah. how much longer is left on our journey? Uh, you still got like, uh, uh, four more hours. Boat, boat. Tasa, come should, on, boat. I think boat. we should. I think we should get off the water. <laughs> Boo! I, I'm always outnumbered. Crying. <laughs> You're not gonna cry. Dragonborn's crying in the corner. Can dra can lizards cry? Yes. Have you seen that one that spits blood out of its eye? Yeah. Is that crying though, or is that spitting? Yes. <laughs> it is painful it crying. And don't question it. Bad enough. Okay. So are okay. you guys are you guys taking a rest or not? Let's take a rest, I think. I can take a rest. It's only four yeah. hours. Guys. I cook my salmon and I eat it alone. Yo, Rack, can I have some, can I have <laughs> yeah, some salmon? Yeah, you can. You, you backed me up. You can have the second one. <laughs> nice. Everyone else can eat rations like a peasant. <laughs> okay. 
So the, the 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 camp is split between those who wanted to keep going and those who didn't want to go. There was so a divide among the company. <laughs> There's like this little borderline that, you know what, uh, Rack, it's almost like when they, they got to shore, you went ahead and you did like they did in Madagascar, and you just drew a line across the, <laughs> the beach that you had on. took a spear and drew a line. <laughs> and, on your, and it's like, you do not come on my side of the wall. <laughs> and the campfire is in the middle of the, uh, the line just so that everyone can be together. <laughs> if anyone, if you guys put your fish on my side of the campfire, I'm taking it. Too bad it was on ours. Okay. You're small, you can eat like three berries and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just accept the fact. You said that's so menacing, like, okay. <laughs> okay. Pulls out Ice Dagger. I am. <laughs> You're not immune to magic, magic missile, though. Fair enough. Magic right. misses you directly in the groin, preventing you from ever having children. <laughs> Man, right right, let's just rest up for the night. Yeah. Mm. So, anything you guys want to do while you're on camp? I don't know. People want to pray. Come People want to just like chat about have characters chat. I don't know. I'm gonna buy a fishing and go back to town. <laughs> That's a good idea. Wait, you're gonna what? I want to buy a fishing pole the next time we go back to town or whatever. Sure. <laughs> just sure. spend a whole session fishing. <laughs> I go seduce the campfire. <laughs> hey, I want to know what I want to do for a session. I like that. Oh god. Actually, it's going on a fun worth. trip. Dude. You got a carp. Yay. Okay, such. <laughs> I'll make a I'll make a fish table for you uh, to roll oh, to see what yeah. fish you get from different yes. bodies of water. <laughs> make the fishing rod your primary weapon. Dude. Fishing rod, gonna, add a spear to the my, front, top of it. I was gonna say, is tertiary third or fourth? Tertiary third, is third, right? third. I was gonna say third, but then I forgot I have my breath weapon, and that takes up my third spot. Quaternary so, is fourth. Oh, my quaternary weapon <laughs> will of a fishing <laughs> horseshoes. No, <laughs> not the horseshoes. Oh my god, <laughs> the horseshoes. Right. Try to reel it into you so you can hit them with your sword. My spear? My spear? Whatever, I'm not playing right now, shut up. We're all assuming that you have a sword. But a, a spear. Spears are cool. Sure. Okay. I feel like no good spears in D&D. I am quirky and different, I use spear. Um. I'm not like other girls. I'm yeah. not like the other ones. <laughs> I'll just be five minutes, I'm watching the SpaceX launch. Uh, oh yeah, oh, wait, I the am SpaceX two in the side. No. Oh yeah, it's one minute. Ah, oh, 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 oh. It's on uh, Twitch if you want to watch. Wait, I, what? No, I'm just uh, going to the. Back. I'm going to just the live launch update. Where is oh, it? I'm Where on. is it? Hold just on. search up live watch. Uh, okay, cool. So you guys are back at your campfire stuff, right? You're still yes. campfiring. Okay. Rest and let's go. Anything else you guys want to do while you're just campfiring? Eat no. salmon. Besides eating <laughs> salmon, <laughs> actually, do you want to do you want to like do a a roll to see if you cook good salmon? Sure. You know what? Let's do this. Um, oh, I, pff, I got a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> salmon ever. He has made like okay, Izil. You go out into the forest. You grab some of like the top notch herbs. Like you get some dill, or I don't know if dill goes well with salmon. <laughs> um, some dill. Dill. I don't. It does. Like, no, you want you want you want Dijon. You want Dijon and you want black and steak hmm. steak spice. So like black okay, pepper. Well, a Michelin three star piece of salmon. Like yeah, like you've just made the most <laughs> delicate. Like this is like this is gourmet gourmet campfire salmon. This is right serious here. gourmet shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm back. Uh, I finished watching the stage two section of the fucking rocket. It's cool yeah. as fuck. What's going I on? I, met, I think I missed everything. Uh, don't We're making worry. some god tier salmon. Yeah, no, oh, nice. we just came back into- We're playing Master Chef right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys rest up. I don't know if you guys want to talk around campfires or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you guys get back in your boat, and you are going down the river. You start to reach near- as you start to get near uh, Penny's Fort, you can see kind of the remains of it. Over the tree line, you can see the top of this kind of shambled ta ruined tower. 
like you see it sticks up and there's almost half of this pointed roof has been fallen off parts it's more like just a bit of a frame and a bit of it's slumped over and that just sort of sticks out as well for some reason you see smoke coming from the middle of it like campfire smoke wasn't there a guy that lived there investigate Investigate. Let's so as go. you guys, as you guys start to move a bit closer, and you can sort of see into the clearing where Penny's Fort was, you see that it's kind of like a shabby plain kept area. A bunch of little bushes, vines are all over the stuff. Um, but you see what looks like a company of about four people, kind of just going around checking things out. There's a fire with a guy sticking around. You're guessing there are four, just by the number of packs around the campfire that this guy's watching over. Um, you see another person just sort of like shuffling around, checking, uh, prepping some equipment, grabbing shovels out. Um, and you can hear the clinking of shovels against stone. Oh, shoot. Wasn't by the way, what you see in the clearing company. as well is this is what Penny's Fort kind of looks like, okay? There is... The river kind of comes from its wide section and narrows near a point where the tower, the ruined tower, st sits. From there, there is kind of this embankment, like just this sort of mound, which would be where the wooden wall, wooden palisade would have been. It kind of goes around this more clearer location. Uh, there is kind of a ru one ruined building that sort of looks like it used to be a smithy. Another one that just sort of looks like a generic like tiny little hut building uh you'd have to look at it more to get an idea what it is there's another one that looks like it used to be part of a larger house but it's been the rest of it is destroyed uh only a bit of it kind of stands there's also the outline of what would have been the bottom of another wooden uh, stone tower kind of location there's a little stream that ripples through there are four pillars Two on each side of the little river, across from each other. It looks like it would have been maybe where a bridge would have been, a wooden bridge. Uh, as well, there's some kind of structure on the wa on that little stream that comes in. Possibly, it would have been some kind of mill, and you can see a building that is obviously would have been some kind of temple or church, place of worship. Um, but it is again not in great condition. There is no roof on it. Um, it's all just sort of shambly. Who needs a roof? Uh, the whole area is, of course, right, covered in thorns and bushes and stuff. Um, but there's a little clearing with a group of, a group that are seem to be checking the plates out. Walk over and talk. Well, you guys are currently right. you're currently in a canoe. The canoe over. <laughs> canoe over and talk. Okay, so luckily, yeah, the campfire for these guys is near the water line. They don't seem to have canoed here. They probably walked, um, hiked. So as you get, as, in. as you get nearer, uh, you can see the guy. He notices you, and he looks up, and he squints for a moment. He pulls out some kind of like gem thing to his eye, just sort of like, and he says, "You there? Uh. Hey!" Oh! The blonde-haired fellow. <laughs> this blonde-haired fellow. I'm guessing that's Cormus. Is that you, Cormus? <laughs> do, do do I recognize him? <laughs> you see this? This is a d stocky dwarf figure, uh, in full like metal armor. <laughs> a dwarf. Uh, dwarf. Uh, this Don't is, elves this hate is, dwarfs. This is Darren. Darren. Your, Bloody hell. your dwarf friend. He's like, well, I thought you were dead! <laughs> what I the hell happened to you? Come on and bring your friends over! Is this gonna be trouble, Corbin? We need to talk! <laughs> oh, this is not this. And he starts waving hopefully you it in. Won't, hopefully it won't, it probably won't be trouble. Uh, everyone here? This is Darren. He was a member of the team that I was part of when I worked for Golden Dawn. And he, so you guys have reached in and Darren comes over and is like, slaps you on the back. He's like, it's been ages! Well, it's only it's been a month? Two months <laughs> now, I'm pretty months. sure. Yeah, I mean, even... Uh, feels like forever. I thought we... We all thought you were dead. We buried... We, we buried your hat. 
<laughs> we didn't have anything else to bury. <laughs> Buried your hat. And it's just, you know, you've got like, yeah. Was it a fancy he just, hat? He's like, he hugs you so much. It's like, but they're all going to miss you. Yeah. Robin and Ronwin are here as well. Uh, you, uh, shine, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're going to need another one too, this shimmy. Uh, but uh, just, uh, just I call everyone shimmy. over and he's just like, he runs off and like starts bellowing. Hey, Corvus is here! Guys, he's not dead! He's not dead! <laughs> um, so that's a little moment of you guys. Yeah, so he's off. Uh... Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Explain. So, yeah, so uh, back before before I ended up in Maniki, I was part of... I was, member of a team for a large mercenary group. You've probably heard of the Golden Dawn. Nope. Nope. Yes. Talk no. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You're part of the Golden Dawn? Absolutely none of it. <laughs> yeah, I worked uh, I worked for them for two, worked with them for two years. I ended up this group Robin, Ronwin, Darren, and no, oh, didn't mention Talia. Talia there were four of them, they rescued me from some bandits. And I joined up with them, worked with them, and there was an encounter on the... We were doing an escort job. Rest. Stick with some car- Stick with a caravan. Protect them. Uh, going through the mountains, we got attacked by a rock. A rock? A rock? A rock? It's a giant bird. Oh... Uh... Oh, oh <laughs> ROC. Um. Yeah. Oh, and you knew Goddamn that was rocks. Gonna happen rock. <laughs> what? You knew that was gonna happen as soon as I said rock. No, I kinda guessed it would happen, but. <laughs> You're the one who the picked rock... whatever was gonna attack you. <laughs> Not the, rock carry... the rock carried me off. Stop Damn well, the I should have Strong rock. <laughs> Didn't even know they could move. <laughs> Press. Surprised that uh, Goliath wouldn't know about rocks. They live; they're almost exclusively in the mountains. Mountains are made of rocks. Different <laughs> 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 kind of rock than this one. Debatable. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> uh, so you see, uh, for everybody who doesn't know, Robin and Ronwin, and I guess you never really described what they look like to me. Um, no. But, so you see actually these, um, this middle-aged man, kind of, he's got a gray beard, gray hair, um, uh, and this, uh, same age, uh, lady, who is, uh, she doesn't have gray hair, however, her, her hair is more white in color. Uh, she's wearing robes, more robes, or with a bit of, like, basic armor across it. Uh, unlike the man who is dressed a lot similar to Izil in his kind of attire of... Sea Ranger? Am I going to have to fight for dominance? Stuff. It's, he's, he is... You can tell by looking at him, Izil, that he is a, he's a person who would be used to tr- tracking in the wilderness and doing such stuff. Very similar to what you did at your job. Uh, Darren is, of course, leading the group. So happy. Like, he's just, he's just happy and very... He's just so happy and glad. And you see this... Um, this tiny little uh, female halfling uh, sort of just slinking around behind them. With She's got jet black hair and a pixie cut. Uh, she's wearing kind of just full black leather armor and has a cloak that's also black around her. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is... They come over and Robin says... What the hell happened to you? You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I'm not so hard to kill. The f- how the hell did you? Didn't why didn't you just come back and? And it's like so. Ronwin comes over and she's like, "Why did you not just tell us that you were alive? <laughs> we buried you." I actually well, didn't well. know where. I, I actually <laughs> didn't know where I was on a map or where you guys would all be. We were going on the route that we were saying we were going to take. Come on, we were starting a caravan. We were going to stop at the end of it. It was obvious. But very fair. 
<laughs> How in the hell did you end up in this part of the world? The rock went up into the mountains. I, I basically rolled out of its nest and down a mountain into the forest. But just like up, what? Out by, out by Maniki. This is where I ended up. God, that's a big. I thought you were probably delirious because getting to Maniki from the mountains is a humongous distance. There are no mountains near Maniki at all. Oh, and there's a fucking map. If you look, <laughs> I'm pointing this out to you. Like you, if you look at the big map, look at where the mountains are. Look where Maniki is. Look back to the mountains. Look back at Maniki. Each of those hexes is about six miles. Actually, it's more more than six miles. But there, are, think of it as about six miles. If you got dropped off in the mountains, walking to Maniki is pretty freaking far. Each, each one is six miles, he said, right? Uh, they're probably more than six miles. Uh, I don't remember how far they are. They are pretty big, though. Just estimating based on the distance that you guys traveled was 18 miles. Oh, there are probably each about... Yeah. Um... We only traveled eight. No! You Sorry, traveled, we traveled 18 miles to get to okay, where you yeah. currently are. What is this in kilometers? I don't know! More than 18 We're kilometers! We're only doing eight miles. Damn it. <laughs> one... My point is, it's a stupidly long way for you to go. <laughs> so you were probably, delirious. You probably, they're like, you probably were delirious. Just, there's no mountains here. It's, it's okay. It was, long, it was a long time in the wilderness, and it, it was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt it was. Come, sit down, we will... You would you you don't know uh, this folk, I and mean, they they she brings forward the halfling. Like this is Shimmy. She thought of the new recruit. What happened to Ta What happened to Talia? And we just sort of look at each other gravely, and think, oh, dead. You know how we were doing the escort, right? That was very really cool. Uh, <laughs> we got attacked after you got lifted off. And suffice and to say, she didn't make it. Rip hell. Falling rocks can uh, yeah. put a damper on the mood. <laughs> da, 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 da. They do. And, and Robin's like, well, enough with the pleasantry. Who are your friends? <laughs> All right. Your new well, bad. This... And he kind of looks at you. He kind of looks at you, pretending to be angry at you for having a new group of friends, but he's kind of like just <laughs> joking around. We could, we could you just a uh, fucking sitcom intro happens. <laughs> come on, come on, introduce your characters. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let them introduce themselves. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Be the gentleman and introduce your friends. Say your, na say your name and a fun fact about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this... Aradhan? If I got that right? <laughs> no one... None of us know how to He's dead, Quinn. Right? <laughs> Jacob. He's apparently temporarily mute. Also playing Smite. <laughs> that Sorry, um, someone was talking to me. Playing Smite. <laughs> Two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> Multitask like this. What? I mean, I have magic open, so I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm still pretty I'm fucking good. Core was introduced. That's, that's, the Hobgoblin is, uh, the Hobgoblin is Drow. Drow. What? Sorry. Hold on, Drow, yeah. <laughs> That's you. Dragonborn, Dragonborn's rack. That's that. There is Isil, and uh, the short one is Tatha. Thanks. She's uh, <laughs> the short one. You know, the, 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 the dwarf comes over and is like, "I'll oh, last. Don't worry. We all get. We I get called short all the time. Don't worry. The shortest <laughs> are the strongest. Solidarity. And he gives you a solid pat on the back. It just sort of like knocks you forward. <laughs> Short twist <laughs> solidarity, poggers. I want to see the dwarf punt the gnome. Yes. <laughs> so what the hell? I feel like the dwarf would be like more built than a gnome would. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell brings you bunch here? To Penny. Well, looking for. We were told that there. We were told that there is. All kinds of stuff in in the fort. Just working for money. <laughs> That's funny. We're doing very much the same thing, except we got hired to look around huh. and grab some stuff. By who? 
Well, by a second-hand person. Nobody of importance. Remember, client confidentiality, too. No. Eh. You're not in the team anymore, Korma, so you don't get to know what's going on. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of rude for someone that you thought was dead. Well, I'm not allowed to... I'll get my back flayed off if I tell anyone what's going on. And he looks to he looks to Ronwin, and Ronwin's staring him down. It's like, she will flay my back <laughs> if I mention anything. <laughs> Suffice to say, right. we've been paid by a very important person to go ahead and go looking for items here and bring them hmm. back to them, and we get a cut of it. Interesting. Hey. I wonder who paid them. Maybe the guy that offered to pay us. Yeah, it was actually, actually Maniki. The I was get, I was actually given actually. A whoa, 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 Cormus, 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 yeah. Cormus, Cormus, come here, come here. <laughs> All right, I, I take Cormus to the side. Like, hold on, hold. On. Okay. They don't know about the rock. Let's just say, let's just have them look around here for like a day or two. They can't find anything. They leave. Then we can use the stone key, whatever the heck this thing is, and actually get to the good stuff. And meanwhile, while you're saying that, um, uh, Darren goes over to uh, to Tassa and is like, you know, you're having this bro moment of being both tiny people in the group. <laughs> uh, like this is a bonded moment. It's like, well, oh. it's like, you know, you know, when we got here, this job. The guy gave us this rock. He pulls out this little stone. It's like apparently this is supposed to open something. And for, damn it, uh, I don't know. But uh, I'm assuming all you guys saw the rock that Cormus got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So this looked exactly the same. <laughs> Balls. Uh, you might have been swindled then. What do you mean swindled? <laughs> check the writing. Check the writing. Cormus, check the writing. What do you mean check the writing? I don't know. There's green writing on ours. Check the other one. The green, the root <laughs> symbol is the exact same. Oh. Huh. Can we put them together? What do you mean, like put them together? How? Powers combined. How kiss? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want to do? Comedy god. What are the little like? Are the three thing? The three little like line things you talked about? Are they like? Different be the equivalent of almost like chair legs at an angle, uh, if you know what I mean. Or no, are they just straight off? No, they're they're more like well, they're just they're lines at an angle. It's almost like um, I would almost view them as like they're almost three eyelashes if the circle was an eye. Okay, the so they're useless. <laughs> I can't put them together. No. Hey Tasa, do you want to do some like I don't know, check for magic or whatever? So. You want to break off the pieces and make it into a duel? Why was Tassa a sorcerer and not like an artificer? Wait, so what do you want to do? I can do an arcana check on them. Yeah, sure. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, 7 plus 5, which is... 12? 12, yeah. These are magical runes that probably do something. Uh, it's probably like a rune ah. key of some kind, of some sort. That's as much as you can tell. Okay, they're magical runes, they probably do something. Oh. Go Bowser. Team. Go team. <laughs> yeah, it's, much, it's really all that we knew already. Oh. Well, there you go. Now you've got confirmation. Robin comes <laughs> over and he's like, right, okay, well, if you guys are here, I don't want to butt in what you're doing, Cormus, but we kind of have a job to do here. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know, off. <laughs> I don't know if you want to just stick around or, like, if you, if, yeah. I wouldn't want to get, I wouldn't want to get in your way either. Exactly, I just, is there some agreement that we can come to? Uh, do you want to just let us be and do this art or, I don't know. Is there any way that... Is there any way that you might need a couple extra pairs of hands? Because if you if you do, we all go, we can all search this place and we split 50-50 between our groups. I would I would love to accept that deal, but the fact is that we're supposed to bring back everything that we find. We can't, we're not allowed to split it 50-50. That's, that's, that's what they tell you. That's what they tell you. 
Ah, and he looked at you and was like, yes. You can just tell them that you found that. Again, I would completely agree with you, but, and he looks back at his sister and was like, she would kill me. <laughs> okay, how about this? So technically, you just don't look at our half of the stuff, so you don't find it. And all you find is your half of the stuff. So you're, you're still, like, absolutely following what you're supposed to do. And he's like, I like your plan. And just, he goes over to Ron and like, right, okay, right, okay. I think what we should do is let Cormus's group stick around, do their own little searching. They can do whatever they want to do. We'll do what we've got to do. And right, if they find items or whatever that we're looking for, uh, we, they find stuff, then it should be a good deal. And she's like, yes, but what if there is a certain item that our patron is looking for and they find it before us? Can't then that. we arm wrestle for it. <laughs> we can't have that. Arm wrestle. We won't get paid for that. Arm wrestle. I mean, if they were uh, looking for something specific, they would have told you. Ah, but the, what if they do not know exactly what they are looking for, but is that they know there is something here that they want? Too bad. That is the explanation That's kind of, they Why would they ask you to search something if they didn't know exactly where it is? It's like, oh yeah, search here. It might be here. How much are they paying you, anyways? A lot of money. Like hundreds of platinum Like hundreds of platinum pieces. Well, not really hundreds of platinum pieces. We're not exactly sure how much he's gonna pay us, but the idea. Well, okay, right? They've agreed to pay us some money, as well as a cut from what we find. Damn, you're going. Going soft, Ronald. Whatever happened to 50% up front? Well, we already got 50% up front. That was the amount that we don't get from finding the stuff. But there might be more money afterwards. There might. There will be might. more money afterwards if I have All nothing right. to do with it. I'm saying might to be a bit nicer because Robin has said I'm a bit of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's nice. Right. <laughs> like, I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> really? He, he, no, he really, he really, he, he isn't. But and she slaps you across the face. <laughs> Shut Roll up! And she just storms away. <laughs> All right, let's just. If there's anything important that looks like you might need it for your employers, we'll just toss it your way. And Robin's like, deal. Now I've got to go calm her down. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at Cormus and he gives you a bit of a thumbs up and he's like, don't tell her. And he, he mouths to you, don't tell her that I'm doing this. <laughs> and I approve of what you did. And he goes off. All right, let's get searching. Siblings or what? Twins. Twins, ah. Sibling rivalry. Ah, yes. Not no, kind of, not entirely. They were together, they basically run this team. Ronwin takes Ronwin takes everything really seriously. Robin, not quite as much. They balance each other out. Nice. Okay, what do you guys want to do? She, Shimmy has gone back to doing whatever she was doing before. Um, what? Oh, being emo in a corner. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's edging, edging in the corner. She's, she's digging holes in the ground, it appears. Especially around the, um... There, there appear to be gravestones around the, oh, yes. uh, the temple oh, area. Oh, so she's digging up around where the gravestones are. I think we should go. I think we need to take a look. Start in the big, start in the the the, the big building. Oh okay, yeah. So there are th the three big buildings. The three big features that are most noticeable are the temple, the tower, and the remains of the house. Although the remains of the house are more like two rooms kind of left. Um, and then there's what you can tell now is one used to be a blacksmith. The other one used to be just sort of a storage closet. Storage. I want to go to the tower. Um, so where do you guys want to go? Tower. Tower? Can we split up? We have like six. Uh, I, okay, I, I'm down for splitting up. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. So let's party up, we all immediately die. I mean, if you find something, just holler. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll go with Rack to check out the tower. Hey! Who wants to join? Okay, how are you guys splitting this up? Because we are getting near four, right? So we gotta. Do you guys wanna. Three of us, do you guys wanna three do of us this? go to one spot. Yeah, three do you guys go wanna to the do other. this next time, or do you wanna, like, start your look Thanks. now? We could leave it on a cliffhanger. I think my dad's gonna kill me if I don't do the dishes soon. <laughs> okay, I, need to, I need to go anyway. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are preparing to split up to explore Pin the remains of Pinny's fort. And of course, nobody has looked into the lore of the fort yet as in character, so none of you guys know anything of its troubled past. Wahaha. <laughs> uh, and you are having semi difficulties with Cormus's past mercenary company. And I mean semi difficulties because it's really just just like, that one person, wrong and one. The, the emo kid digging up the graves, <laughs> and, the, and the yeah, and, and the and the black like the just the halfling who just wears black. I feel like she's gonna like come out of nowhere and stab one of us. Yeah, the emo kid digging up graves. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to watch the emo kid digging up graves. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little. Uh, yeah, he's just prepared, you know. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys next Saturday. Um, I guess, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. And, yeah. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Not Presently Deceased. We're going to be coming with videos about once a week with our adventures. Of course, I am Owen Dara, the Dungeon Master. I just wanted to say again, thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I know it's kind of long. So, if you enjoyed what we did, remember to like and subscribe below. As well, there's a little bell down there, so remember to ring that if you want to get notifications whenever we post videos on the Castles and Cosmology channel. Hope to see you guys next time, and again, hope you really enjoyed our videos. We really enjoy making them.